everyone. Sorry for the strange start. I I don't know why my microphone volume was suddenly so low. I didn't change it at all. Anyway, welcome. My childhood dreams are finally coming true. Uh, I played Tekken for a demo, demo version of it, of this game as a kid back in 2002. I was a big fan of the demo version, but nobody bought me the full game, so I was just replaying the demo version over and over again. And there were two characters available, Paul and Christy, and I really, really liked Christy in this game. Always wanted the full game because of the amazing stages and soundtracks, and it's still quite loud. Still quite loud, wow. So let's set the volume to two then. Yeah, apparently a lot of characters were broken in game. In this game, you can change the volume in the emulator too. No need for now. I should play Tekken 5 DR. I have that on PS3. I will play it as well. Yeah, this game was ahead of its time. You'll see the, the, the amazing stages. I don't even know how many of you played Tekken 4. But you'll see. Uh, everything about this game was amazing, uh, except for the balancing. It was so bad. <laughs> I think the main man made plenty of videos about why the balancing of the game was terrible. But everything else is fantastic. This was like 2003? 2002! It, I think the graphics are ahead of their time. Uh, this game was ambitious. Let's play. Mm, story battle? Should we play through the story? Tekken 4 had uh, a good story, uh, if I remember correctly, if at least other people said it has great story. This game might even be 2001. Is it 2001 or 2002? Uh, can you hear me well over the game, or is the game still a bit too loud? One of the issues with this game is that it had few characters, but they were more fleshed out. It's like quality in, instead of quantity. Xiaoyu. Xiaoyu was a junior at Mishima High School, but lacking any particular goals, Xiaoyu grew tired of her daily routine. One day, she received an anonymous email warning her of Heihachi's evil intentions and the dangers she faced. Though Xiaoyu replied to the email in hopes of an answer, she didn't receive any further messages. Xiaoyu's intuition told her that Jin, who had been missing since the last tournament, could be the sender. She believed in the message and began to distrust Heihachi and the Nishima Zenbatsu. Oh yeah, I love the narrator here. Upon hearing the announcement of the next tournament, Xiaoyu decided to enter in hopes of being reunited with Jin and to unveil the truth behind Heihachi and the Nishima Zenbatsu. You were seven when this game came out. Me too! And this game is already 20, 20 years old. I feel old now. Round one. Hi Chainsaw Tech. Oh, it's already my time to play, alright. I don't even know which moves Xiaoyu really has. I know she has this. And this. But the movesets were also way more limited. Marduk looks really different. 
And I really miss the the replays from um, before the round ends. Round two. They stopped Fight. that feature after Tekken 6, I think. And pokes really hurt in this game. They deal a lot of damage. Which is really advantageous for characters like Xiaoyu who rely on pokes. Hello, Terminator. Hi, San San Sanuj Sanjo. This game is slowly becoming becoming one of your favorite Tekken games. Fight. Mine too. And oh god, this stage! I love this stage. See, there are breakable objects in most stages. Phone booths! Remember those things? Only 90s kids remember. Oh, and, and this is Xiaoyu's hotkick. Xiaoyu was good in Tekken 4. Apparently, yeah. Oh, I know why she was good. She was apparently evasive. She had a this evasive cartwheel. Let me see if I can remember the input. Where she she rolled to the side with a cartwheel. Round one. Fight. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, she rolls to the side with this instead of just forward like in the new second games. So that's evasive as well. She goes to back turn stance. She had another thing. I'm going to practice mode after this, because I want to find out. No Korean backdash? Oh, actually. I didn't realize there was no Korean backdash. You can also move around freely fight. before the fight starts. Oh yeah, you, you, you can't Korean like this. Can't. That sucks. <laughs> I think Korean back dash was a thing in Tekken 5 though, right? You can't do it in Tekken 4. It was in Tag 2 1 already. It was a thing in Tag 2 1, but not in Tekken 4? That's strange. Yeah, that's another reason why the gameplay wasn't really good on a co competitive level. Come on. Nina is god here, 1 plus 4 is plus and block. Oh, really? How much? Oh, and look at the pushback after Xiaoyu's 2-1 on block. Amazing. Great defensive string. <laughs> Knocks really far. TV was broken. I don't exactly remember why. Didn't really watch the Mii Man's videos. And I myself played only the demo version of this game. Round two. Fight. 
perfect. The stage is beautiful though. Let me see if we can get to some kind of water. Should be able to get to the fountain here. Or nope, Steve is pushing me back. No snake edge either for Xiaoyu. They introduced her snake edge sidestep 3 in Tekken 5. You win. There are multiple different starting points for the stages you can pick from. How? Steve's damage was absurd and had an 8 frame mid. Fight. That seems too strong for a character like Steve, yeah. This is a legendary king outfit. Oh, there we go. With the throws. Oh, he's gonna land a full string on me. Alright, alright. Procesh 3 is still a counter hit launcher. His outfit is better? Uh, I, I'd say this game has a lot of outfits I miss. Like Xiaoyu's outfit. This one and another one she had. the generic back turn down four. The music is so good. I know! You win. Chicken four is probably my favorite soundtrack. And I miss Christy. This version of Christy is my favorite. Except for the the, the Tarantula hair. They couldn't really nail that one yet. The hair. Her hair just did its own thing. Interesting. So this game already had some pickups. You win. Round two. Okay. Okay. We keep going. Yeah, Alistair. I'm playing with an emulator. I don't have my PS2 uh, anymore. It. It was broken after a storm. Like I, I had a storm in like 2006 or seven or something, and uh, I was playing on PS2, and the storm really hit hard near my house. And uh, when I turned on my PS2, it just wasn't working anymore. Rip. But I still have my PS1 at my mom's house. Hey, Punked. Have you played Tekken 4? Round one. Fight. Tekken 4 had a thing with long hair for male characters. Look at Paul and Morduck. Was it a thing back in the early 2000s? I don't even remember. Like, was it popular to have long hair? Men? Out. Oh, you played Tekken 4 Punk, I see. I only played the demo version. You 
So this is the first time I'm playing the full game. My childhood dream came true. Versus the CPU guys, just so you know, there was no online mode. Win. Final round. Fight. God, how evasive Shao Yu is. Ah, oh, he already had the shoulder. I mean, uh, the elbow. I rolled right under that kick. Movement is whack in this game. Yeah, you cannot Korean backdash, which is like the very base of of Tekken. Korean backdash. Here comes Heihachi in diapers. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I wanted. I'm not sure I wanted to see this. Are they even speaking Japanese in this game? It's a, it doesn't sound like Japanese to me at all. Not even in the intro cinematic, it just sounds like random gibberish to me. <gasps> oh yeah, this is the evasive cartwheel. How did I do that? How did I do that? Oh <gasps> yeah, it's forward 1 plus 2. That's what I wanted. This card wheel was super evasive as well. Yeah, four one plus two. Fight. <gasps> oh my god, the evasiveness! Oh my god, the evasiveness! Hachi thick indeed. Okay, okay, let's see show his ending. Shaoyu defeated Heihachi. No one foresaw this outcome. Soon thereafter, Shaoyu learned of Heihachi's many evil deeds. He was clearly guilty of supporting the raid on G-Corp. The evil nature of Mishima Zaibatsu was finally revealed. Heihachi was an evil back then, apparently. Doesn't show you have an impact on this yeah. specific stage. I'm not sure. Chao. I didn't know that. Nani atte no yo konna toko de. Nani atte no te. Shigoto yo. Shigoto? Suwatte ru dake janai no? Miharu wa? Daigaku dou datta no? Daigaku? Awesome. 
already obsessed with Jin. <laughs> Jin. その時私に言ってくれたんだ。本当に叶えたい夢があるんなら自分で叶えろって。うん。今はジンはすぐ旅に出ちゃった。なるほど。悲しいお別れがあったわけね。何よ。でもショウってさ、昔から人に頼って
Are you interested in playing this online on SRK? I don't know what's SRK, but yes, yes, I want to play this online. <laughs> I want to hit you when you're walkable. Come on. There we go. Holy damage. Punks, you are right. I love these stages. They are the best stages in any Tekken game. But they are glitchy as hell. And can you Im imagine these small stages with bounce? It would be too much. I mean, uh, wall bounces like in Tekken 7, yeah. Ah, oh, already trying to land junkyard on me. Yeah, the stage this stage is incredibly small. Way too small. You win. Round two. Fight. You would rather have this than squares of different sizes. For casual gameplay? Yeah, definitely. Tekken 4 might have been the best casual experience. Right? Tekken 6 might have been good as well for casuals. There's a lot of offline content. Which Tekken 7 lacks. Stage in Techno 7, wall bots of one wall and hit the other. Just seems legit, yeah. Ah, that was natural on hit. Oh man. It feels different playing this game when I already know how to play Tekken competitively. As opposed to me being a nine-year-old scrub. You win. Round two. Kitsu or airport? Which Fight. song is better? I vote for airport. Go to handstand. Wow. Show your face in Christie's boobs, huh? You right. Hey, Sam. I'm doing great. My childhood dream came true. Finally thing, uh, playing the full game. Second four. Round one. Fight. Ah, oh, he just hit me with the 10 hit. Paul always gives me trouble, even as a CPU. You lose. Round two. Fight. Weren't jabs in this game. Ten frame. Oh my god! There's that fist. Yeah. 
Paul defeated me. As a CPU, even the CPU was harder. This is a medium, I think. You lose. Continue. Eight. Six. Uh, I wanna uh, eat. Oh. Yeah, I wanna continue. Round one. Fight. <laughs> It happily trades some of the stages that are the same size for more unorthodox stages like these. And remove their stages from competitive play. Mm, that would make sense, yeah. I, I would like that. Hey! I was blocking! Oh! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, close. Yeah, imagine getting wrecked by medium CPU. Happens only in old Tekken games. You win. Round two. Fight. Yikes! <laughs> that hurt. Even the CPU- the CPU can even back that here. You lose. Final <laughs> round. Fight. Does the CPU block strings in these Tekken games? I feel like it doesn't. Her hair is still better than Lily's. Um, you win. this is where I have to say Lily's hair is better. This is Tarantula hair. Round one. Fight. Remember when her other beat took in seven arcade on Ultra Heart? I, I don't remember it actually. <laughs> This is army horror. Yeah, he was a military boy in Tekken 4. Horan had three voice actors in this game. Japanese, Round Korean two. and English ones. Fight. Wow. Talk about putting effort into it. Into the game. Wasn't the budget for this game really large? We really wanted this game to succeed. Hide behind pillar. <laughs> hey, that's some World of Warcraft strat. Hiding behind pillars. Final round. Fight. Ah. More moves. Yes. Does she have back three three? No, just back three. Does the logic second eight will have a huge budget? I hope so. You can bet on them having a giant budget after Tekken 3. That's right, Tekken 3 was a massive Round success. One. Fight. I wonder, is Tekken 3 the best selling Tekken game? 
Oh, it evaded electric. That's the floor. Ouch. Kazuya destroying me. The CPU was really mean in this game. Way smarter than in Tekken 7. Round two. Fight. Tekken 3 sold the most. Alright, yeah, makes sense. Everyone and their mother played Tekken 3. Okay, I, I just remembered the combo. But I got hit. Kazuya with the save down for a two. Wait, he had a save down for a two? Oh my goodness. You win. Does not just get hit by random unblockables like the can 7 CPU. Why am I trying to sidestep with Christy? Why am I trying it? Her sidestep sucks. You lose. Oh, you can save replay data in this game. Cool. Eight. Seven. Round one. Fight. Safe at close range. Wow. No! Damn, that was fast. One one two is not natural combo. Interesting. But it it's natural on counter hit it seems. Stand for one minute, please. I mean, one second. Oh, I missed it. Replay feature. You win. Before Final ending. Round. Fight. I can't get used to not being able to backdash. Again, you lose. Continue. Eight. Am I married? No, not yet. Samaka. Round one. Fight. Is electric possum block here? I suppose it is. Okay, so that's the floor goes under electrics. So let's do that. You win. Round two. Fight. Okay, so 
stepping on me. Punishes me. That electric was a punish. You lose. Final round. Fight. Oh my god, for the third time? The hell is it Kazuya CPU? There's an upward four for four. Oh, oh yes. Kazuya CPU is gatekeeping me? No! Oh, so close! strategies. I guess this is where Christie's story ended. Kazuya defeated her. You win. Round two. What four three plus four four four? Fight. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! F completely forgot about this. One. Does she even have this string? I don't think she does. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, this string is gonna win me games. You win. 
Who's Christy? Eddie's friend. She really likes Eddie, you'll see in her ending. Yeah, Kazuya gatekeeper was something. Have you have I unlocked Lily yet? That took me a couple of years, but yes, in the end, in Tekken 5 DR, and I unlocked her. Masher. the CPU being so good. Yeah. That string is just great for several purposes. Like Genryu. Funny you had an outfit like this. Fight. Yee, third third of the his health bar is gone. feel like Tekken gameplay. I mean, it is Tekken gameplay, but it's so different from competitive gameplay. It's hard to explain. Chicken pile with Lily on screen. I have played it already once, but I will do it again. Yeah, I definitely prefer this stage over Tekken 4 stage. It looks more Great badass. Ball, Christy. Hey Christy, can I get a shot? Oh. Congratulations, Christy. Thanks. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel like good. Anyone you want to share this victory with? So tell us, what was the key to your victory?
another wholesome ending. Petty! Petty! <laughs> Mentor slash lover. Yeah, they, they make a nice couple. Because you are playing Christy, I am playing Eddie right now in Tekken 7. <laughs> Uh, actually, you do have Eddie in Tekken 4 as well as a palette swap, if I'm not mistaken. Or did they do that in Tekken 5? Cool. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. Ah, so now we unlock Jin. But I'm gonna play Steve to unlock Nina. So why aren't they reading out his story? Steve was a young British boxer enjoying his run as the. Why are I, I, why aren't? Day, Steve was ordered by a mafia. Now he's reading it out. Okay. Fight, but he refused and instead won the fight. Unfortunately, the mafia made good on their threats and put a price on Steve's head. With the mafia in hot pursuit. Steve fled England for the United States and led a life on the run. But Steve soon realized that no matter what he did, the Mafia would eventually catch and kill him. He would never learn the truth of his past. Motivated by this realization, Steve sought the limelight once again and entered the King of Iron Fist Tournament. How are the cats? They're with my boyfriend right now, they're okay. Come on. Round one. Fight. So his duck chap was eight frames. Yeah. It does seem faster alright. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be easy with Steve. You Eight win. frame jabs. Oh my god. Round two. Fight. He was really good. Evasiveness here. I first perfect today. You win. Ha. Steve looks extremely lean in this game. I think that's the case for more most male characters. They look very bulky in the later Tekken games. Round one. Fight. Down for Lumpus to is safe on block. Oh my god, this is safe on block? That's crazy. Is this 14 frames in this game? Just like. Wait, it's not 14. How fast is it in Deccan 7? It's a weird length of pants. Mm, I, don't, I don't think so. Do, do, do people not wear this length of pants anymore? It used to be a thing. We call them three quarter length pants in Slovakia. below no 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 these pants are a bit longer yeah they are longer than they should be weird length Round one. Fight. down back to his spot when you don't hit wow 
I just can't hit him though. <laughs> now I can. Yeah, seems really good at the wall. And how is it on block? Probably very safe since it's Tekken 4, right? Probably like minus 12. Yeah. Probably like minus 12 since it's Tekken 4. They are three quarter trousers. Yeah, that's what I meant. Three quarters style of trousers. Oh wait. He has an unblockable version of this. Is this safe? Looks like it could be safe. He has no normal throws. Plus 60 on hit. <laughs> That's great. You win. No, you gonna work out. His hair is better animated here than in Tekken 7. Round one. Didn't even notice. Fight. No, this knocks down. Oh! Okay, it knocks down only in counter hit? What were they thinking with these frames? Okay, teleported. Oh, Xiaoyu is so evasive in this game. Hello, Ray Chicken. He already has back one here, but the input doesn't seem to be back one. CPU blocks the low. Oh no you don't. Seems legit. What is he even seeing? I don't understand. Between two and his plus one block in this game, plus twelve on hit. Round one. Fight. That's insane. I guess I didn't really pay attention to frames. Anyway, competitive gameplay probably wasn't very popular back then. Right? I don't, I'm not sure. I wasn't old enough. Didn't even have the internet, so how would I know? You're not even a workout. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. You win. Round two. It's evasive too. So good. It's evasive.
Tekken 4 had such a great atmosphere and sound design. It was more serious and down to earth than uh, the current Tekken games. I like both directions, to be honest. Round one. Fight. I kind of miss Tekken being serious again. Oh, that launches! Damn! Fitness level is pretty serious? I don't Round think so. I mean, look at Leo's fight. ending, for example. In the Oshinitsu tentacle jokes. characters would be great. Mm, that's too little for this day and age. Too little. I think. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Round one. Fight. Hey! What is this stage? I have never seen this before. Let me take this in. What the hell is this stage? I I'm amazed right now. Never even heard of this. Just randomly plays Tekken 1 and Tekken 2 songs. Oh! Alright. That's quite cool. Sorry, mom. I'll be a good boy now. Yikes. You lose. <laughs> she still has her old win poses and, and stance when she fights. She Time looks a bit outdated, Round to be one. honest. Fight. Oh, she told Steve to shush? Shut up? Damn. She's not kidding, kidding around. Her ass jiggle is so funny. Oh my god, now I can't unsee it either. Her ass jiggles. Round two. <laughs> Fight. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into this game. <laughs> Core values. attractive for guys ass like jello I don't know you tell me you better use the pink cat suit for Nina or else how do I choose it He 
He hatches but does not jiggle. Extra triangle are the two options. Thanks. Round one. Fight. <laughs> So you hit someone on the ground and it can wall splat and kill them. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think that's a thing in Tekken 7. Wow, I never seen that kick before. Doesn't the wall spot only deal like one damage? It seems to do a bit more. You win. Fortunately for us, Steve has an assassin gunning for him. We'll take advantage of this situation. Kill Steve by serving him up to the assassin. Mishima's able to data room. Steve Fox was conceived through in vitro fertilization. Calling pregnancy in vitro fertilization. That just grosses me out. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this this game has some pretty suspicious English lines. You'll see in Jin's ending as well. Or Horan's? Who's the father? I think the father is either Kazuya or Heihachi. He has a scar on his arm. And his arm is also pretty strong. So it could be one of the Mishimas, I think. He doesn't have a dad, he's a clone. What? It doesn't make sense. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. There's Tekken Force Mod 2. Yeah, I'm gonna play that as well. Alright, we unlocked Nina, so we can finally play her. Nina Williams. After the King of Iron Fist Tournament 2, the Mishima Zaibatsu used Nina as a test subject for experimental cryogenics research. Fifteen years later, Nina was released from cryosleep to fight in the third tournament. She fought in the tournament while suffering from cryosleep-induced amnesia. escaped from the reaches of the Mishima Zaibatsu and spent her days carrying out missions as a contract assassin. To this day, she has been unable to regain memories of Anna or her previous life. Without memories or anyone to rely on, the only thing she could do was to execute her contracts for money. Poor 
poor Nina. This makes me feel bad for her. One day, Nina accepted a contract from a mafia organization. Hello, Honest. Welcome. The of the was oh, these outfits, man. She does dress really skimpy. She dresses really skimpy, like, do you remember the cutscene with Steve? Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Her, her, her cut was Some so cut. low. Her V cut. Round one. Fight. She exposes like Jojo? I don't know who's Jojo. So I'm one plus four. One plus four? Oh yeah, awesome block. Ha! Huh. Easy. You win. Round two. This song features is so good. I, I love this soundtrack. I love every soundtrack. I'm taking four. I like her intros <laughs> and outros. Go easy on me. Round one. How many females Fight. are in this game? There's Nina. There's Christy. Shall you Julia as well? I think. Can't remember anymore. Anna is not here. Panda, okay, Panda doesn't really count. Doesn't show you have a clone character in this. Yes, she does. Miharu. Round two. Fight. Yeah, in order to conceive Steve, she had to get some, you know, male sperm. Someone has to be the father. <laughs> Lily was like 12 in this game. So small. You win. Jun and Jinpachi? No, Jun was not in this game. Round one. You don't need that to make a clone? Well, then you don't even need um, a mother to make a clone, right? Alright. Last resort. Spam 1 plus 4. I mean, 1 plus 4. I like her fight sounds. They're different. Her fight sounds are really different. It could be that they omitted Anna from this game because she was too old. Video games don't really like old women, so they made Nina sleep, uh, sleep in cryo sleep to be young, and they dumped Anna. And then in Tekken 5, they decided to bring her back and say she was in the cryo sleep as well. Mm -hmm. 
We also should really have low pokes here. Oh man. A lot of the stuff Nina has is so outdated. The animations are outdated. Her fight pose is outdated as well. Hmm. She doesn't have reverse ivory cover yet. Ah, counter hit launcher. I think Nina 15 years later would be like in her 40s. That's not that old. Uh, I think it's old for video games. 40 years old, yeah. So she technically is 40 years old, but she looks younger. Fight. Because of cryo sleep. Even her downfall one is so outdated. Definitely don't like Nina's animations. Highest damage combo in this game. Infinites! There are plenty of infinite combos here at the walls. You win. Round two. Fight. Push back. Yikes, yeah, that hurts on back turn. Got rid of uh, all the older female characters from Tekken 2, replaced them with younger ones. But that is the case for a couple of male characters as well. Like they replaced Beck with Horang, replaced Kazuya with Jin. There was a lot of new blood in Tekken 3. Had this throw, huh? <laughs> oh, wow, he already had tackles. Oh, and he punches only once. That looks weird. with some combos now. You win. 
finished already? Please. She looks really muscular as well. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Body. Round two. She kinda does. Fight. Especially in the drawings in the intro. <laughs> Those were some questionable outfits. In Steve's cinematic as well. But I really do like her fight sounds. She sounds better than in the new games. She has her sets of one here. Sets of one. You what a win. nuisance. Oh, look at the stage. Beautiful. BMB, yes. I love Xiao Yun Tekken 4 as well. Already played as her. Slaps are different. is dodging all their female characters just like every game really look at Tomb Raider she was Lara Croft is 40 in Underworld and then they rebooted her and made her an, a young student After the tournament, Nina pursued her target, Steve Fox, to his hotel in order to complete her objective. While preparing for the hit, Nina received additional information on the target from the Syndicate. So hot. I get what you mean, Wimblood. Don't make a 
an old female character just for having just for the sake of having an old female character make it a cool character if it makes sense for the character to be an old female then yeah freeze lay with the freeze again Love this ending with her not being able to shoot her own son. Yeah, speaks more volumes than words. Alright, we should be playing now. Jin, let's play Jin. I want to play Jin. Did I play Kazuya? Not Australia, yet. A city crowded with buildings, new and old. Nestled amongst the towering buildings was a small dojo. A young man trained there in silence, his face hidden by the hood of his jacket. Today, Jin trained in the traditional art of karate. Ever since his betrayal by Heihachi, Jin loathed anything related to the Mishimas. His lineage, his fighting style, the devil gene in his blood, everything. Okay, so what's the cheap stuff with Jin? Round one. Back to one. Fight. Laser creeper. So how do you do the cheap version? Or is just is that it? Is this the famous string? He had a just ring with a launching and block hole. Down for two at the end. Oh, okay. You win. Round two. Fight. Oh, but you can interrupt it. How is this cheap? When you can interrupt it. It's not interruptible. So I'm just doing the wrong version, right? I have to let go early. Ah, oh, okay. You win. I'm holding it too long, okay. Round one. Fight. <laughs> I'm bad with back forward inputs. Gonna need to practice. You win. Round two. Fight. I think I got it. But he blocked it? No. It's unblockable, so it was not right. 
I really struggle with back forward inputs. More than in Tekken 7 for some reason. I think that was it at the end. No. Still not it. You win. You lose it. No one at one with this Tekken 4. Round one. Fight. Oh, yeah, I got it there. I it's so hard for me to do back forward inputs. That was it. I did it. Okay, good. Not that difficult. I just struggle with the back forward inputs. Can you do electrics? Yeah! Does he even have an electric in this game? You win. This game one. looks so fresh even now in terms Fight. of design and atmosphere. This game aged wonderfully. King had long hair? Yeah. Uh, actually, Paul had long hair as well. And uh, Mardig as well. This game had a thing with long hair for males. Seems like characters didn't have a 1 plus 3 throw, just a 2 plus 4 throw. You win. Oh. Jin's table combo in this game is 1, 2, 3, down 4. Oh, I miss such simple combos. Actually, no, Round I don't. One. Fight. Combos are an art in new Tekken games. Is he a 4 4 2? I think he does. Yeah. I thought they had Fight. two generic throws in every Tekken game. That's new to me as well. Oh, he had forward four already. 
Let's see if he has down back far. Round one. Fight. Down back for is cheap in this game. Bad frames. Mordek had different sounds too. You win. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Oh, my controller is removed. You win. His health sweep is better than down back four. It's minus 12. Oh my. Either lows were shit or OP. Seems like it. There was no in between. Many lows are minus 12. And those pairs didn't even give anything guaranteed, right? Self forward 1 plus 2 throw is so cool. It is. So the tournament officials sent Kazuya a message. The winner of round 7 by default is Kazuya Mishima. Please proceed to the final stage. Ooh, I didn't get to read the whole thing. While on his way to fight the, on his way to fight Kazuya, Jin was ambushed by the Tekken force. Jin brought down scores of them. Horang. No. No, that's Horang. But was eventually captured and taken away. Is this the ending with Oh yeah, her brother loves villains, like he Best ending ever? Oh my side. 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 Stage eight. Samaka. Round one. Kalsia definitely Fight. is the father of the year. They look really slim. Yeah. Oh, every male in this game looks really slim. Compared to Tekken 7 or Tech 2. My controller keeps disconnecting. Yeah. 
Jin had most of his staple moves in this game already. He had a really good base in Tekken 4. You win. Shouzen Kono Tedo no Otoko ka? Hugai nai. Sono chikara, washi ga subete morau. Omae wa koko desu. This jiggle mechanic feels weird to look at. Yeah, especially at the wall. It's really weird. Round one. Fight. Time to die. I don't think so. Oh, he actually had some awesome voice acting here. Round two. He sounds really. His voice sounds very deep. Oh, he went under my mid with forward four too. They had to, uh, tourneys for Tekken 3. They did! Indeed, I saw some of them. Even Tag 1. This is where the Tekken 5 intro starts. Yeah! That's adorable. That one feather. White feather. That white feather appears as well in uh, endings with Angel. Angel foreshadowing. But after this game, we haven't seen Angel until Tag 2. Paul Phoenix, please. Alright, we have to see Welcome his ending. This tournament four. He had a great ending. So chill. Chat Trigger's costume. Button three. Alright. Paul went undefeated through the entire King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, and even triumphed over Ogre. Swelling with pride, Paul returned home. However, unknown to Paul. Ogre morphed into his second form, True Ogre, and the tournament continued after his departure. Although Paul claimed that he was the true champion of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, few believed him. <laughs> and even those who did eventually grew tired of his attitude. These stories are so real!
So he won versus Ogre in second three, but then he struggled versus bears. Yeah, right. They turned him into a joke character. Round one. Fight. Hey, that's the city. How do I do burning fist? Oh, yeah. Back on the street. This is all my brother ever did with Paul. Death Fist. You win. Round two. You have to see this stage. You can go so deep in the water. It's amazing. Wait, I can't jump backwards here. I can only vault backwards. Hm. Actually, you can't jump at all in this game. Just by itself jumping have to do a move with it it has to be a jumping move i can with attack but not without an attack how deep can we go Huge stage, oh my goodness. I guess this is where it ends, yeah. Huge stage. You win. You can't jump just for the sake of jumping, but you have to do an attack to jump. Round one. Fight. Have we ever gotten Tekken vs. Virtual Fighter? Tekken feels like the blueprints they would have used. You're right there. Yeah. This stage is pretty big as well. Most of the stages here are huge. Absolutely want a stage like this again. Just for fun. Can we have a mode in Tekken 8 with old Tekken stages? An old Tekken soundtrack, maybe? Harder give six dollar, please. I would happily do so. I'm happy to support a game I love. If the content is good. I mean, look at this throw. How would a person just keep their arms lifted while while Paul is wrapped around it? It looks ridiculous. It's a real throw. Yeah, but I feel like it would be faster in real life it, it doesn't look like that in real life Fight. <sighs> love this stage as well the mall and uh, the Shinjuku stage are my favorites mm, does he have the just ring version? In this game. Anyway, 
Let's death fist. <laughs> I remember Shayu's dressed in this game. You were obsessed. I love it too. You win. Round two. Fight. Doesn't seem like he has the just for you version of this. How does this stage feel so much better than Tekken 7 stages? Because it feels more real. Nothing like a good workout. You can go upstairs in water. You can break phone booths. Come on. Round one. There's a lot to do. Fight. Yeah, it's not just a square. But the square stages are working better for a reason. Can you go lower on this roof? Let me see. I want to explore this stage. Haven't explored this one yet. Since it wasn't in the demo version. Oh, you can go lower. I love it. Even floors and so many walls break the gameplay. That's why they never made a return to these kinds of stages. You win. Being uh, on the s on the stairs while the opponent is is lower than you would really mess up hitboxes. Round one. Fight. Instead of trying to fix the problems, they just removed everything for Tekken 5. Maybe they just couldn't have come up with a solution. I don't know if any other fighting game ever successfully implemented walls like this and floors. It was an, it was an ambitious thought, definitely. Maybe in the future they could come up with something better. think that our live stages are like this but that's also a much different game right maybe it works for dead or alive Round one. probably Fight. wouldn't work for Tekken what a cute outfit <laughs> Demo man here. Probably not. You lose. Round two. Fight. himself.
<laughs> Those bear shoes look creepy. Avoid me. Hello, kid Bastia. Little man has a perfect just stream, but Paul has it. But it's probably much more difficult than in Tekken 7. insanely hard. Whoa! You can also do down one into demo man in this game. Cool. Round one. Fight. Oh um if I remember correctly, Lily was supposed to be in Tekken 4. They had concept art for her at this stage already. Yeah, I saw very early concept art for Lily. Her outfits looked a bit different as well. She had short sleeves or something like that. Look it up. Pretty sure you will be able to find some info. Undisputed champion of the tournament and assumed absolute power over Mishima Zaibatsu. Though Paul inherited Mishima Zaibatsu's vast fortune, he let others handle the day to day affairs of the company. Eventually, his executive position became nothing but a job title. In the end, Abel's total control over him resulted in a life of depravity for Paul. Aw, he became quite careless. It looks like taking five art. Hmm, then I was mistaken. Paul spent his day and nights partying. Hmm, look at his priorities. All right, let's take a cab. Paul is no businessman. He rides motorbikes and fights. Paul! Hey, Paul! Paul! Shed a tear here. Love these endings so much. Did we unlock anyone? To the king of we just unlocked Brian. Okay. I'll give Brian a try. I 
to hear that old Brian Law. The his life was near. There was only one person who could change this. Dr. Abel, his creator. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, Dr. Abel created Brian. But Abel He's like the opposite of Dr. Biskonovich. Zaibatsu recruited him as its top scientific advisor. Brian despised the both of them. Mishima Zaibatsu for taking Abel away from him, and Abel himself for abandoning him. One day, news of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4 reached Brian, and he decided to enter the tournament. Despite his impending death, Brian's body flowed with energy, making him more powerful than before. Along with this new strength, Brian developed an uncontrollable rage that manifested itself in his outward physical appearance. I didn't know this part of Brian's story. That's interesting. I'll break your face. Round one. Fight. Brian looks very slim as well. You can see the difference there. He looks more bulky in Tekken 7. Way more bulky. I feel like even Morduck looks a bit more slim. Or am I just imagining it? He looks super pale because he's dying. That's a nice detail as well. You win. Round two. Fight. It's almost like his body has blue tints somewhere. Oh man, that's his old sneakage. His animations look different. You win. <laughs> that laugh. Koi. Round one. Fight. Oh, okay, launching. Okay, first ever sneak edge. I don't think he had this in Tekken 3, right? I wonder how many characters actually had a sneakage in, in Tekken 4. You win. Didn't launch in Tekken 3. Okay. Round two. Fight. What's the input for taunt? He didn't have back one yet. This is this is down two. Does he have forward forward four? Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, very slow. But it looks plus on block, alright. 